Hi, my name is Diana Walker and I work for the University of Nevada Reno Extension in the 4-H program. You can see my little 4-H clover there. 4-H does youth programming throughout all of Clark County and today during this quarantine cooking series I'll be teaching you how to make strawberry freezer jam with three ingredients and that's what quarantine cooking is all about. Minimal, minimal ingredients and making something fun with your kids. So the first ingredient is one pound of strawberries, it can be fresh or frozen, uh, one to two tablespoons of some kind of a sweetener, we'll talk about your options there in a moment, and kind of a different ingredient that you might not be used to. Say hello to my little friend, the chia seeds. So chia seeds, we're gonna do two tablespoons of this. This will be our thickener. And why did I pick chia seeds? Because I noticed during quarantine, lots of people got into making jam and canning, and that's great. I always encourage that. But I didn't see these on the shelves sometimes. Um, they were gone, and you could hardly order them on Amazon. They were on back order. So um, I started researching ways of making jam um, without pectin. <clears throat> and so this recipe popped up, and I gave it a try, and I was pretty happy with it. So I hope you're happy with it too. The first thing we're gonna do is prep our strawberries. Let me kind of turn this down a little bit for you. I've got my strawberries all washed. Um, there's a little trick that I'll show you and then I'll do a time lapse. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this trick with a straw. I kind of found this online years ago. You can kind of pop that stem off just like that and make sure there's no green stuff and then cut it up. I cut it up into fourths, put it in my pan. So I'm gonna finish prepping the rest of these and get back with you. All right, I've got all my strawberries prepped and ready. That's a great job for kids. The straw trick is wonderful because it keeps you from wasting a lot. Uh, sometimes people will cut the tops off the strawberries and you waste, I'll kind of show you, you waste kind of a big section that can become jam. Um, these are great for compost. I just stick them in here and go stick them in my garden or stick them in the compost pile or feed them to the chickens, depending on what lifestyle you have there. Um, so I have my prepared pound of strawberries in here. You can do fresh or frozen, as I said before. I'm going to add my sweetener. Um, I'm going to do one to two tablespoons of honey, depending on how sweet I like it and also the sweetness of the fruit. Um, if you don't have honey, that's okay. You can use maple syrup, you can use sugar, you can use agave. Uh, that's what quarantine cooking is all about. You just use what you have on hand. Um, I'm going to start heating this on the stove and mashing it up with my, my spoon. Uh, some people like a really fine consistency. They'll kind of put this in the blender as it kind of gets heated through. Um, I like it a little chunkier. I like it a little more rustic, but that's just a uh, personal preference. So I'm gonna stick this on there, kind of show you what it looks like in just a second. Okay, I've got my strawberries on. You can kind of see. And I have them at like a medium heat. And look at all the juices that have come out of there. So right now, I remember I just have strawberries and a little bit of honey, two tablespoons. I'm adding my chia seeds. And you don't have to cook your chia seeds. I can actually turn the heat off, which I will do. And we'll stir those in. So what is happening with the chia seeds is it, they absorb liquid and they, get, they create a, a, a gel consistency. And I made some in water for you so you can kind of tell what that looks like. You can see this is just chia seeds and water. Isn't that cool? I'll even put my hand in there and kind of show you. It's just like gel. And people are making pudding out of it. It's actually pretty awesome. Um, so I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes and then I'll show you the finished product. This comes together really quickly. Um, this has only been sitting probably, you know, a couple of minutes, maybe four minutes. And let me kind of show you the consistency that we're looking at. So you'll notice when I put those chia seeds in, they were black and didn't look very appealing. Um, but now that they're in this jam form, they're kind of the same color as a strawberry seed. Um, and even though it's a little more seedy, it's amazing to get this kind of thickness without using sugar and pectin. And one of the reasons that I picked chia seeds for quarantine cooking is because a lot of times when I went to the store, 
um, or looked online, Pectin was sold out. And so I remember about a year ago, um, my friend Cher Freeman out there had posted a recipe making jam with chia seeds. And because I'm a master food preserver, it kind of sparked my, or piqued my interest. And I thought I would give it a try, and I have been happy with it. There are lots of recipes online. People are adding things like vanilla um, or you know some cinnamon just to kind of mix things up. Keep in mind, um, however, that it is freezer jam, so that means that it's not shelf stable. We haven't processed this in any way that you can put it on your shelf and eat it. This will go into your fridge and freezer. It's a small batch, um, so <laughs> I'll probably just put it in my fridge, and it'll last. Um, what to put it into? You can use glass jars, glass canning jars that you see traditionally. For freezer jam, I really like using these little containers that you get at uh, dollar stores or big box stores. These are nice. Um, either way, you can put a little note on there and give them to your neighbors. So I'm going to kind of show you what this looks like when I packed it up. I'm just going to pour it in. Make sure that your containers are clean. I ran them through the dishwasher. Oh, well. I've got a leftover dinner roll that I can kind of show you. This helps with the consistency too. I mean, it just it looks just like jam. So yeah. There you go. So there you have it. It's a three ingredient, low sugar, fairly healthy way to make jam for your family. Thank you for spending some time with us to find out what 4-H Youth Programming is all about. 4-H does youth program programming throughout all of Clark County, making the best better for our kids' heads, hearts, hands, and health. Until next time, thanks again. Bye-bye.